was struck at the Philadelphia Mint and the 1975 D at the Denver Mint. Both coins feature the familiar design by Felix Schlag, with President Thomas Jefferson on obverse and Monticello Jefferson's Virginia on. On the reverse, the coins are composed of copper nickel alloy weighing 5 grams with diameter of 21.21 mm. When it comes to mintage, the 1975P had a production of over 181 million, while the 1975D saw higher mintage of over 401 million. Despite the lower mintage, the 1975D is generally considered more common in higher grades, due to better production quality at the Denver Mint. According to NGC Price Guide, as of August 2024, Jefferson Nickel from 1975 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, on the open market, 1975p nickels in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $75. Those with full steps in main state 67 and higher are worth over $2,000. One of the most valuable specimens in Mint State 67 Plus with full steps was sold for $4,560 at Stax Powers Auction. In comparing the two issues, the 1975P is generally considered rarer in higher grades, particularly with full steps due to its slightly poorer production quality. On the other hand, the 1975D is more common in top conditions, making it easier to find but less valuable than its Philadelphia counterpart in the highest grades. Nevertheless, 1975D nickels with full steps in MS66 condition and higher are considered scarce to rare with guiding price of $225 and over. That wraps up our look at the 1975 Jefferson Nichols. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.